For today's review, we're looking at G.I. Joe Classified Series number 74, Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor Drone on Way I Got It Figured. The Way I Got It Figured. What's up, figure fans? Way I Got It Figured, back with another G.I. Joe Classified review. This time we're looking at number 74 in the G.I. Joe Classified Series. Scrap Iron and the Anti-Armor Drone. Um, I picked this figure up at GameStop. Um, and I had like $20 off, so I only ended up paying $25 for him. Um, yeah, something like that. I think it was like $25 bucks I paid for him. Which was cool, because um, I got him way before Target had decided to make him half price and all of that. Um... But, you know, it took me a while to get around to during um, his review. I've had the figure since August. August, I think. And, um, yeah, it just, just, you know, takes me a while. I got a wife and four kids and work a job and all of that. So, um, you know, sometimes it takes a little longer. But we are here. I was greatly anticipating scrap iron. I went back and forth, hemmed and hawed, because um, him being a deluxe figure at the forty to four ninety nine pr price point, you know I don't really want to pay forty four ninety nine for one figure um, if I can avoid it. You know, I'm not saying that I will never buy a deluxe figure or whatever, but nowadays with kind of the way they're accelerating the GI Joe classified line along with the fact that if you collect anything else, you're just, you know, you're just kind of spending a lot of money on plastic. So to get them for a discount was always sort of uh, the the way I was, I was aiming for um, picking them up. And so it did work out in that regard. Um, so now here I am to bring this uh, review of this pretty awesome figure to you so as normal we're going to look at the figure look at his accessories look at the packaging um maybe do a couple of comparisons and get you out of here with some final thoughts so first off as you can see he comes with a bunch of stuff uh, a lot of it is just fire effects but i personally like fire effects blast effects um because they you know they can enhance the uh presentation of the figure um but mostly you can use them in stop motions little explosions and stuff like that is always good to have so um they're certainly warranted by me whether or not i'm going to use them actually with scrap iron is another question but um but we will go over them in turn. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, as usual, look at the packaging. So we'll bring in his rather large package that I can't get into the frame all at one time. And you've got some cool action figure photography of scrap iron in action. And the uh, his, his anti-armor drone, which has been upgraded since 1984. <laughs> From a stationary um, turret that could turn 360 degrees and had a wire to, you know, a state of the art sort of tank tread robot kind of deal with a remote control device. I think that's a nice update to the character, um, even if he looks very similar to how he did back in the day. Of course, you got your Easter eggs on here. Um, the big one being the school bus from a rise to pinto a rise. So it's always cool when they stick these Easter eggs in there. You got some sky strikers flying by in the background. And you got some nice artwork of scrap iron in the corner. Then you can see his loadout which is all the blast effects and missiles for the drone. And then of course he comes with three accessories that go to him. 
which is the pistol, the helmet, and the um, remote control. I guess really in a sense the remote control goes to the drone. On the side we can see he is number 74 with the QR code. If you want to scan that, um, they don't work yet. I'm sure Hasbro is still working on whatever they're going to do with that. And very small versions of his statistics. On the back we have the full load out of the figure. He stands at 6.2 inches with his various effects. And there's some nice in, 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 insert shots, inlays. Um, and it's kind of cool, really like it. I really like what they did with his face, but we'll get into that when we, when we talk about the figure in depth. And then of course, as I love to do, I will go over the stats here as they are on his card. So he's got a three ordnance, a four launcher, a three anti-armor, and a two in weapons engineering. So he's pretty skilled at uh, at his job. Almost like the Cobra equivalent of Bazooka or Zap. But with better equipment. Oh, show the larger version of the the artwork there it's still as cool as it was from the front and now we'll get to our figure all right so taking a look at scrap iron himself very cool figure um i detect a small amount of reuse on him but that's all I can detect there may be other things um, but I can't really it's hard to identify like I know he's got these new boots nobody else has these um, the pants I don't think anybody has these pants I, I did compare him to a couple other figures with you know military style pants on and the wrinkles are different if I had to guess, maybe I should have got out my Tiger Force Dusty. Maybe the shirt is the same as Dusty. I'm not saying that because I haven't really compared them, but um, somebody else might be rocking a shirt like this. Just, I just don't know right now off the top of my head. So the only piece that I can see is really kind of, the only pieces I can see that are really kind of reused is the arms here and the gloves it looks like are the same as um stalker snake eyes retro card snake eyes i think they're the same arms because of the sort of sweater sleeves but everything else seems pretty new and i have to confirm whatever's going on with the the shirt with the under shirt under it now the most interesting thing about scrap iron is his face was never shown before and so now we get to see what he looks like without his helmet on and i think they did a really good job with that um he's kind of scarred up burnt on one side and uh and i think it's really cool it's really cool So, um, I don't know if you can take the vest off, and if you can, maybe somebody can tell me that in the comments. I am certainly not brave enough to do that, but yeah, that's scrap iron. And real quick, I'll go over his articulation. So, of course... You know, he can do the T-pose, as, as all G.I. Joe classifieds can do. He has uh, a limited but existing butterfly joint on both arms, of course. Generous elbow curl 
and of course he has a bicep swivel. He has on a two-stage neck, neck, so he's got the, you know, kind of the chicken neck. You can look up, I guess, pretty decently, but not that decently. But he can look down really good. He got a really good down look. Obviously, he has an uh, a th uh, uh, an ab crunch, but it's going to be hindered greatly by the vest. Even though even though he seems to be decently able to move move a little bit, uh, even though he has it. Of course, waist swivel, drop down legs, thigh swivel. Generous knee bend and boot cut and ankle rockers. All the hits of G.I. Joe Classified series. So there you go. That's your look at scrap iron pre geared up. Take a look at his gear. So his helmet is pretty much one for one version of the 1984 classic. Except it's not, you know, painted black, but yet all flesh toned like like his old head was, but it's all I always found funny. He's got this sort of I don't know if I want to call it a machine pistol, but it's some kind of weird pistol. And it does have a blast effect port. And then you've got the control unit for the drone. It's got some nice details on the screen there. You got your two wireless antennas it's pretty cool then you've got your various blast effects that just seem to sit on the side like i guess for with the the missiles like launching you just kind of stick it behind there's fire that's supposed to come out from behind you got some smoke More flames, more smoke and flames. And then they're off camera, but they're here. You can um, install these on the missiles so they look like they're launching out of the drone. And I'm sure we all know by now that you can um, attach these to the bazooka figures uh, rocket launcher and you can be launching missiles and the missiles can fit in here i don't have bazooka yet to show that but when i do um a bazooka review you'll see that in action moving on over to the drone itself so it looks really cool um got your mars symbol on there it shows that he got this this stuff from from destro of course it's anti-tank 002 because the 001 version was not a drone at all piezo electric that's definitely some sort of inside joke And it looks cool. Looks like an updated version of the uh, 1984 drones, particularly here. And the missiles seem to be the same, except now they have um, tampos on them. Laser guided, X04, Cobra style. It's a little bit warped, just a little bit, but you know, it's not, not enough that um 
It really makes a difference. I can live with that. It's got really nice detail on the treads, but the treads do not roll, as I'm sure many people have pointed out in their much more timely reviews. But it does track, it does swivel, it can go up, it can go down. I don't know why it needs to go really up, maybe I guess for long range shots because it doesn't shoot down helicopters or anything, it shoots it blows up tanks or you know armor positions but it is very cool nonetheless all right so we're gonna get scrap iron geared up and do some comparisons all right so we got scrap iron geared up we brought in stalker just to show for a relative scale scrap iron uh stands six point two inches so i'm guessing stalker is probably 6.3 inches because he's really only about the same size because of the helmet um but just to show what i meant by sort of his hands and his sleeves being the same we got the same pattern there. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Sure, it's interesting to see. So he's got this thing down here. He's got kind of this painted black thing there. Focus in on that. Well, it looks like Stalker has it there, but it's not obviously it's not painted. So let's bring in Yeah. I'm going to have to recant and say um, they're not the same arms. The The wrinkle pattern does look similar, but this this uh, part here is different um, because, you know, Stalker doesn't have it and Scrap Iron does. It's not on, it's not like just an unpainted on the figure. It's just not there. So if there's any reuse, I can't see it. It will have to be underneath the vest. And I do think that even though there's no reuse on him yet, I think the new Firefly figure is going to have the same shirt. Might even be the same general overall figure. Um, but we'll find out later this month when I do my scrap my, my uh, Firefly review. So there you go. So that's cool. Um, but yes, here's your relative scale to another G.I. Joe classified figure. Stalker's just a little bit taller than him. And uh, there you go. All right, so we're gonna move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on G.I. Joe Classified Series number 74, Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor Drone. Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm over the moon with this figure. He's pretty awesome. He's exactly kind of what I expected him to be. I did hem and haw about the price, but, you know, we're, we're going to do that. You know, if you don't have unlimited money, then you always got to kind of consider how much you're spending on a toy. Um, but... I did get them for a discount, and even though I got them for a discount, I certainly, you know, think he's, you know, pretty much worth the money, I guess. Forty-four ninety-nine dollars just seems steep. But I am happy with what I got for $25. Um, you know, I don't know. The, 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 the skews of what they're doing with these guys, you know, you got your 
deluxe figures that are 35 you got your you know this is 10 more dollars than a 35 dollar figure i don't know maybe five more dollars seems you know 39.99 seems about right but they're charging 44 it is what it is 45 bucks despite that the figure itself you know it's it's an updated version of scrap iron that hits all the right the nostalgia notes yet updates him into the 21st century and i think um with him not really showing any kind of reuse or anything like that um as an action figure as a thing to add to your gi joe classified series collection i mean he's definitely going to be one of the best figures of the year i'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 um you got options you got the blast effects you can you know do for displays if you want to center in on scrap iron or um anything like that but he's a really really cool figure i, I would recommend him um, if you can get them especially now that they're selling them for 22.99 or whatever if you can find them at target so so that's going to be that i'm going to get out of here um, thanks so much for watching the videos as always. And um, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, what's your uh, experience with Scrap Iron? One of the things I wanted to mention and forgot because I was so busy looking at the figure um, is that Scrap Iron, you know, is one of these one of the Cobras that actually has sort of a body count um, in GI Joe. A real American hero of the Marvel comic series. Scrap Iron actually was the one who killed Storm Shadow's uncle, the Soft Master, as well as Ripcord's girlfriend, um, Candy, also known as Bongo, the Balloon Bear. So you got to go into the late 30s, early 40s in terms of issues for that. But um, but yeah. Scrap iron, wipe those guys out. So yeah. Um, if you are looking for more GI Joe classified series content, this is definitely one of the place you places you'll get that. I do consider GI Joe classified series my number two line, even though they're quickly catching up with my number one line, which of course is Transformers. Um, but, you know, there'll be, basically all I'm saying is there's going to be a lot more G.I. Joe Classified series content on the channel. All right, everybody, stay safe, and I will see you guys all on the next video. Peace. The way I got it figured.